Loruka Jesu Amen Loruka Jesu Amen Baba wa ti Olorun wa Ogo nla ni fun oruko re Fun ife nla Ti oni si awa ida eniyan laye Ife nla na Tomu koda ye yi Fwa awa yi ninyan E fè le a ye la ye Fwa wa Kwa ba le lwa ye nan la ti she O nan se ne Awa yi da yi ninyan Kajete wala on la ye Nen gwa to ba lwa ye yi itan Ti o ba pa le Ti a ye la ye te le yi o de Ka ba o gwe la ye la ye O lwa gwa kwa ye wa Ami A ton fè gwa ne pa O ren la nan lo ni 
Awati o tun lo olu akono wa amen awon to ma gba no la je ko ye won amen ke won lo e ko na daada amen atawo oluso ati awon olugbo na igba ti o ka ye le kuro ti aye tire yo de aye la ye re je ka ba gbe lai lai amen loruko jesus christi oluwa wa amen o go ni fun olorun loke orun glory be to god in the highest Ogo ni fo Olorun Olugbara wa Hallelujah Glory be to God our savior Ante se waju we want to continue Lori akori eko wa with the topic of our teaching Olorun o ba yeraye God the eternal king you made me for yourself and your everlasting kingdom. Therefore, in all the days of my life, I will be yours. When this world will have passed away, and your own eternity will come, then I will dwell forever with you. Our teaching, which we are giving, the teaching on the program of God, the Creator, for us is creatures on the earth. The teaching that says we must belong to God in all the days of our lives and dwell forever with Him in His glory. We are considering its relevance palu idibo nigeria to the elections that will come up in nigeria soon ebiti aseba asoye na de and the juncture which we got to in our discussion oni wipe was that the teaching that says we should belong to God while in this world in order to reign with him forever in his kingdom the election program in Nigeria this year must not forget it Netoli because God who made this world and who made us human creatures in it especially in Nigeria where we want to have election program this year that God would not forget his program throughout this year and in the years to come why did we say that Lord will not forget his program in Nigeria it is because as we have said repeatedly Nigeria was not created by man but is the God of heaven who created it 
Those we are going, those we are going to vote for this year. Nigeria. It's not they who made Nigeria. Nigeria. It's God who made Nigeria. Nigeria It's not only Nigeria. That God made. Even we human creatures. Those who aspire one position or the other. And we who will cast our votes to take them to their positions. God is the sole maker of all of us. And God who made the world. Part of which Nigeria is. He did not create the world so that we human beings will engage in our own activities forgetting God the creator. We human beings too who the Lord made in Nigeria. He did not make us so that we will be busy with our own programs. Forgetting God the creator and his eternal program for us. As we shouted last week. Any creature who attempts it this year to forget God the maker of Nigeria to forget God is maker because he is doing for himself a program which is important to him and if death strikes him suddenly then he destroys himself eternally. And the program which he is doing in Nigeria, which makes him forget his creator and the program of the creator, once death kills him this year, he won't do the program again. And he will not also live with God eternally. God is creator, we haul him into everlasting fire. Because of this, the election program that we have in Nigeria this year we who are concerned we must not forget God and his program for which he made this world and us too so what you see furthermore this year it is the will of the Lord that will come to pass in Nigeria. Because as the creator of Nigeria is the owner of Nigeria. His own eternal program for which he made Nigeria which he still does in Nigeria is yet to be done with it. Therefore, this year, nothing, absolutely nothing, will stop that program of his. Throughout this year, though, we won't see God in Nigeria physically. So, we but we will encounter the mighty deeds of God. Nigeria, Yoma. Nigeria will know that there is a God 
in heaven above. How are you Nigeria? And we are Nigerians. All things we do not expect now. And which we cannot think of now. Before this year runs out, we shall see them happen in Nigeria. Right from the sole creator of Nigeria. Because of his own eternal program. Because. Because of this election program. Satan will want to use it. To stop the program of God. And God won't allow the devil to do that. Both God, who made Nigeria, and his uncountable, unnumberless hosts, who he made in order to minister unto him. For us, his children, who have received this program on the house below. This year in Nigeria, we will encounter their mighty deeds that surpass any human understanding. But we human creatures, as we have always said repeatedly, let have peace of mind. Because all that God will do this year, they will be for his program and us, his people. This year, those against whom God will work this year in Nigeria will be those who want to give in to the devil. To stop God and his program in Nigeria. And this year, we who are yet to know that it's God who owns Nigeria. Because he alone made Nigeria. We will know very well this year. We will know that God is the only being who speaks because he's the eternal world. We human creatures realize that we are not given to speak because we are not the eternal world. It's only God who speaks and it comes to pass. Because he is the eternal world who made all things. His program is in Nigeria. We read last week in the Gospel of Luke chapter 2 verse 13 let's remind you the gospel of Luke chapter 2 verse 13 let's remind you yes 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 hallelujah in that Luke chapter 2 verses 10 and 11 when an angel stated his own proclamation that he rejoiced with the men in the world because the Lord has entered the world as the Savior. That a good thing, a good thing the Lord has come to do for all men in the world because of this all of us human creatures in the Come world should rejoice greatly that angel 
Having ended his own proclamation in that manner, then a multitude of the angels, the Bible calls them heavenly soldiers, heavenly hosts, that is the soldiers of God in heaven. They came down to the world and gave their own proclamation in their worship. They said concerning the coming of the Lord to the world as some one glory be to God in heaven above. Two. Peace has entered the world. Peace has entered the world. Peace has entered the world. Number three. God is kind to men. Those host of heaven are those soldiers of God in heaven and they will be keeping watch over Nigeria this year to make sure that there is peace in Nigeria because their proclamation is yet to complete its work. Their proclamation that the Lord has entered the world as the Savior. Because of this, peace has entered the world. They must see to it that this year, the peace which they proclaimed abounds in Nigeria because of what? Because the Savior who entered the world is still in Nigeria still doing his salvation work as we said repeatedly last week there are many signs that show clearly that the Savior is still in our Nigeria. One, all over Nigeria, salvation is still being preached on air, on TV sets, in all churches all over Nigeria we can still hear the preaching of salvation so salvation is still in Nigeria peace that must reign in Nigeria before salvation can be preached this year it must not turn to war the hosts of heaven that proclaimed peace when salvation entered the world will see to it that that peace reigns in Nigeria this year so that salvation that reigns in peace might continue. Because of this, peace, which the countless heavenly hosts that it entered the world. When the Savior entered the world, that peace must reign this year in Nigeria. If the Savior is still in Nigeria doing his salvation work, the Bible reveals that before salvation will vacate the world. 
Destruction to descend. That Savior will have completed his salvation work. This year, we who are children of salvation, who have received God and his program, that program that we should belong to our Creator, that we should belong to our Savior, that we should live for him in order to reign with him forever. We who have received this gladly. Throughout this year, the eternal God, our Savior, will contend for that program in our lives this year. Wherever salvation is, destruction can't be there. When destruction entered the world through the sin of Adam, it was then that a Savior came to stop destruction. So salvation puts an end to destruction. Yeah. Now let's quickly consider who the Savior is so that we will know that we who receive his program this year he is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the one who speaks. His will will come to pass. Whatever was that we may hear, it is the will of the Savior that they come to pass. Because he is the eternal word who speaks. Let's quickly consider. Who the Savior is and who he will be this year concerning his salvation program. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Oh, yes. 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 We want to show them among his names. The mighty God is the Savior. Therefore, this year, as God, who is the, who is the mighty? Two things. He is God. He is not man. The creator of Nigeria. All those who aspire positions. The sole creator of all of them. All of us who are going to vote. The sole creator of all of us. Therefore, who is the Lord? Because he is God. He is the one who is in Nigeria this year to see how the elections will be conducted in Nigeria because of his own program. And that, mind, that we have read here, the everlasting Father. This year he will be in Nigeria. To monitor his own program. To monitor his own program. To monitor his own program. To see to it that our program has matters. Does not stop his own program as the ever living God, the everlasting Father. The third name that we want to show here is the Prince of Peace. That is the King of, the King of Peace. As 
the angels proclaimed in Luke chapter 2 verse 13 they said peace has entered the world because of what the king of heaven it was who entered the world the bible teaches us that heaven is the place of peace the peace of heaven is perfect the peace on the throne of God that surpasses human comprehension the king on the throne in heaven above who has made heaven the place of perfect peace was the one who entered the world to execute his own program his program of peace so that men in the world would have peace so that men in the world would not perish this year this king of peace will look down from heaven to see in February his own program that peace reigns to allow his own program to continue a man that peace reigns so that his own program will continue if Satan had determined that this year he would pervert the peace of Nigeria that this year he would use the election program to cause war in Nigeria all the places where peace is proclaimed where salvation is proclaimed that bounce he would use to turn the places to ashes the king of peace won't allow that because this year in Nigeria peace will reign because the gospel program must not be destroyed for example this radio station here we are proclaiming salvation if bombs are dropped on it all those who walk there if the bombs turn them to ashes how are we going to air salvation churches, worship centers where the king of peace is praised where the king of peace is sunk to for bombs to be dropped on them and for all the places to be turned to ashes how are we going to proclaim the king of peace how are we going to praise the king of peace I want us to read a verse where the king of peace will say that this year he is still in Nigeria and ministering his program of peace Matthew Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 and verse 20 Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 and 20 therefore you children of the gospel go out go out to every place in the world Nigeria now one including Nigeria 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 is part of the world go to Nigeria to Nigeria and preach the gospel yes those to whom you preach the gospel and they receive the gospel this year baptize them Baba Atiti Atiti in the name of the Father of the Son and of the Holy Spirit the mighty Baba God, Elaye. the everlasting Father, that we read in Isaiah, chapter 9, 
This was the command which he gave that this year we who are gospelers should observe this order this year in Nigeria. This year, we should preach the gospel. This year, those who accept the gospel, we should baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The everlasting Father, the mighty God, this is the command which he gave. Now listen, the command which he gave, has, has it ended in Nigeria? Has it finished its work? Or is the, is the command still in operation no, no, do you? this year? The king of the gospel. So, does he still give the command that we should proclaim the gospel on air? Glory, mom, my on TV sets in all our worship centers in the open so, does he still command come that we should proclaim the gospel so that men in the world will receive the gospel and that we should baptize them is the command still operating verse 20 yes when you have preached the gospel to them those who accept the gospel gather them and teach them to observe all things that I have taught you is this in Nigeria is this still in operation once this is still in operation, that those who accept the gospel, that we should gather and learn the teachings of the Savior, if that is still in operation, no war must break, no bomb must cut us. Peace must reign. So that we can gather and teach ourselves the gospel. In other places where we gather, bombs should not turn them to ashes, should not render them desolate. Hallelujah! Hallelujah!
The program that we should belong to God, that we should be God's possession, that we should live for God, and dwell forever with God. We who have received it, according to this revelation of the Lord in Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19, and 20. And the Lord is with us at all times. He will remain with us until the end of the world. He is with us at all times. Until Nigeria will come to an end. In the name of Jesus our Savior. May we be gospel. In the name of Jesus our Savior. May we be friends of God. In the name of Jesus our Savior. May we be God's possession. In the name of Jesus our Savior. May we be God's people. In the name of Jesus our Savior. May God not kill us this year. But he will deliver us, he will save us. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen.
ojo afun pe Kristi lati mu eko ti ese se gbo kan yi wa se ti gbo yin oni wa su yin ni olusu agutan je o oludare olu ijo wa wa ni popo na ilesha si ilu akure lati ma awon ebi ti e ka wa wa ni osogo ile ife ibadan akure eko ikare adu ekiti atawon ilu miran e fi ateji se yin ranse si odo ejo o kan odo ejo odo meta to tele ra won eta aro ati o kan e dara po mo wa fun wakati ire ayo on la la si ko yi kan na lo se tun bo